Will you believe me if I say you can burn more calories or fat while sitting at your desk or binge watching your Netflix series? Specifically, if you are a corporate leader, because most of your time will be spent in front of your desk. It seems impossible, right? Well, it's possible. In today's video, I will be sharing the power of strength training and how you can use strength training as a weapon to burn the calories and the extra fat and to become fit, healthier, and live a fuller life. So, hi. This is Sanju Kaliwala, your health and wellness coach, and I welcome you in one more power packed informative video of our channel. So, without wasting time, let's do the video. Whenever we speak about the strength training, the first picture comes in our mind is a bodybuilder who is lifting heavy weights in a gym to build muscles. That's the reason people started thinking strength training is only meant for a person who want to build muscles or for the athlete who want to improve their performance. And it's not a great idea to add strength training if a person is in his 30s or 40s of age. But you have to keep in mind, strength training does more than just building a muscle. It helps you to burn more calories even when you are resting. It helps you to burn fat and preserve your lean muscle mass. It helps to improve your bone muscle mass. It helps to improve your quality of sleep. It helps to improve your digestive system. It helps to improve your immunity system. It helps to improve your overall lifestyle. Means the benefits of strength training is endless. The list is endless. From that list, I took few benefits to share in today's video as I want to make this video short and crisp. And I believe strength training is the backbone of your fitness. If you want to live a healthier, fitter and fuller life, you must include strength training in your routine. And strength training doesn't mean just hitting the gym and started lifting in heavy weights. It can be done anywhere at home also by using your body as a resistant. So let's dive a little bit deeper in this video and let's understand few benefits of the strength training. And I will also be sharing step by step procedure how you can include strength training safely in your routine. So let me share my screen and let's speak about the benefits first. The benefits of strength training, only few, as I said, I took only few benefits. The first one, it increases RMR, resting metabolic rate. Means you will be burning calories even when you are resting. These are after workout effects and uh, it helps to increase the efficiency of fat loss and it will also increase the insulin sensitivity and it will also balance your hormones. And these all benefits, I am not saying, these. there is a science behind it. So. Let me share how it happens. The role of muscle in calorie burn. If you take one pound of lean muscle mass and one pound of fat, your lean muscle mass will consume more calories compared to your fat. That means if you are having a good strength training and carrying good lean muscle mass, you will be burning calories even sitting at the desk or even resting on your bed or even binging your Netflix series. And it happens due to epoch effect. Epoch effect. Do you have an idea about this? Let me share. Epoch means excess post exercise oxygen consumption. You will be consuming more oxygen even at your rest after strength training. And oxygen is the main source of energy if you are having more oxygen and fat burns in the presence of oxygen. This is the science. Okay. That means if you are having more oxygen, obviously you will be burning more calories and it impacts on your metabolic health. If you are a strong metabolism, Obviously, your fat burning procedure will be going on whole day, even at the rest also. Strength training impacts your metabolic system. It, it builds strong metabolism in you and uh, how it can integrate in your lifestyle. How, what are the lifestyle integration of strength training? First thing is first, it's very time efficient. If you are adding high intensity interval training kind of workout, short workouts, they give much more benefits than your low intensity long cardios and it is proved by science okay as per the science high intensity interval training burns more calories and builds more muscles compared to your long low steady cardios and 
it suits for any level if you are a beginner or advanced or intermediate then training can be tailored as per your level and three to four sessions of a week will do the work and can be done anywhere strength training doesn't mean only going to gym and uh, lifting the weights it can be done anywhere even at home by using your body as a resistance to so start a strength training starting at home will be the best option and let's speak about a few myths of strength training there are so many myths around us regarding strength training i took only few to explain you among that first one is strength training makes you bulky it's not completely true yes strength training helps you to build good quality of lean muscle mass it helps to preserve the lean muscle mass but if you want to bulk up you have to fix a goal of bulking up and you need to include your nutrition as per the goal along with your strength training then only you are going to bulk up until unless you work on all these uh, areas you are not just bulking like that okay so instead of fearing that uh, strength training going to make you bulky specifically in women this myth is um, more popular specifically in women women will think adding strength training will lead them to bulk up like a bodybuilder but it's completely myth women's will be lacking the muscle building hormone testosterone which is present in males so instead of uh, keeping yourself away from uh, strength training in a fear of bulking up you can add strength training to see all other benefits like strong bones strong joints uh, body composition fat burning wagera wagera and uh, one more myth related to strength training is cardio is better for fat loss this is very popular myth among the people whenever people think of uh, uh, losing fat or weight they will start doing cardio cardio is a good activity you can add cardio in your daily routine as the name itself says cardio means it is directly related to your heart health okay it is it can be used to lose fat or weight and people will see the result people will see like fat loss or weight loss by doing just cardio also but key, you have to keep in mind losing fat or weight by only doing cardio is will be not an good idea or healthy option because you will be losing lean muscle mass and which is not good in your long run so if you want to see complete health always start with strength training and combine cardio along with strength training so that you can burn calories and fat at the same time you can preserve the lean muscle mass to give the after workout effects so these were the few myths of uh, strength training now coming to the step how you can start because many of you will think like uh, starting a strength training means just uh, uh, hitting the gym and lifting heavy weights that is the strength training but no you need to start small and uh, think big if you are a beginner complete beginner you need to start with very basic step in basic step you can start the workout at home itself and you can choose 3 to 4 days of training in a week if you are a complete beginner even 2 days will work and 3 to 4 days is the ideal days of a week to show good results and you can focus on compound movements compound movements doesn't mean going and doing some deadlifts or squats and loading with heavy weights and landing up with injuries so compound movements of course they are good workouts they will give good uh, uh, results but it has to be done in under proper guidance so there is a video which i made on compound video i will be sharing the link in my description you can check out the video also uh, how compound movements can be dangerous if they are not done in a proper guidance focus on compound movements under proper guidance and initial days just use your body as a resistant to start the movement and always track your progress and celebrate your wins how small they can be because tracking the progress will help you to understand what you are achieving in the fitness journey and what changes you need to make in your goal plan or routine so always tracking progress will helpful and always celebrating your small small wins helps you to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself going in this fitness journey so this was all about in this video I took only few benefits of strength training to keep our video short and crisp. I will be making more videos in future considering the other benefits of strength training. If you felt this video informative, please do like and share with your friend who thinks doing cardio is superior than strength training. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future.
So this is Sanju Kaliwala signing off. See you in the next video. Till the time, stay healthy, stay fit, stay natural.